Right now I'm working in the lab uh, at Fuller's and we're working through a few different beers and we're checking uh, the color of the beer, the alcohol, uh, the original gravity, uh, the present gravity, and uh, the pH. So here we're filtering beer, uh, which is originally a bit cloudy and running through uh, fine mesh into clear beer. And when we take a uh, photo spectral analysis, we're actually going to put the beer through another filter here, uh, and then into this capsule that will be read by this machine here. And you can see that it's actually reading a few different beers in there already. Uh, this right here is going to check the pH of the beer. And this machine uh, checks original gravity, present gravity, and the alcohol content. You can see right now it's, it's going through uh, one of the beers. It's, it hasn't gotten the results yet, but we do read the results here, and we keep track of every beer that goes through for the day. The program being used here is uh, to check to make sure that every beer has uh, the proper gravity or pH or alcohol, and it's going to be uh, in the right guidelines uh, so that they can have consistency. Um, if you can see the screen, you can probably see all these green checks, and that's showing that uh, all, all these beers here, and I'm switching between different ones right now, these are all turning out just fine. They've been brewed properly and they're within the guidelines. However, there was one today where we got two X's on the color, which was a few points darker than it was supposed to be, and the present gravity was a bit too uh, a bit too thick as well. So that's going to have to be blended uh, with some other beer to make sure that it can uh, reach its guidelines. Uh, only if a beer is really out outside of where it's supposed to be will it be dumped, and that's that's a rare thing. Uh, blending can can fix beers quite well, and that's that's what's used at most breweries around the world.